guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm squinting because it's so sunny out and I don't have my sunglasses with me. This is another A Week in My Life video. Will and I had pancakes for breakfast this morning because we have like no food left in the house and that was all we could eat for breakfast. There was literally nothing else. It was fun, it was a nice sweet morning. I'm not really a sweet breakfast person. I much prefer a savory breakfast, but a sweet breakfast every once in a while is okay. I felt like I was so busy and just like nonstop activities and work and everything last week that I just did not have time to come to the grocery store and we desperately needed it. We ordered out way too often last week. I just like couldn't get here and then over the weekend I have this weird mental block in my mind when it comes to running errands on the weekends because I feel like all the nine to five people are out doing their errands on the weekends and because I don't work a nine to five job and I have the ability to go during the week usually I just like hate the idea of going on the weekends when it's busy and there's lines like no so even though I really had to go on the weekend I just put it off and we just like made it work with the food that we had at home but I'm here now it's Monday morning I'm gonna go in and grab what we need hello it's the next day it's like 1 30 on Tuesday I just spent an hour and a half filming a couple of different videos so those will both be up on my channel already I'll leave links to them in description box down below I did a summer favorites as well as I filmed this makeup look which is a full face of cream products I'm gonna sit down and do a little bit of editing now, but I wanted to jump on here and just tell you guys what I'm gonna be doing this evening. Like a year and a half ago, maybe, my girlfriend got this really amazing deal for laser hair removal on Groupon. She had like no issues with it. It's working perfectly fine for her. And so the Groupon was like no longer available, but she asked at the salon if some of her friends could come and get the same deal that she got. I'm gonna go for my consultation today. One of my friends is going for one of her sessions, so she's just gonna bring me along hopefully get signed up for some laser hair removal, which is exciting. My mom's been trying to convince me to get it for years. She keeps offering to get it for me as a birthday gift and I'm always turning her down because I want other things. It's pretty much gonna be my Tuesday. Hi guys, I am just gonna head off to go and get my laser done. So I did my consultation yesterday and then they booked me in for today. I just wanted to say that I'm super nervous. I don't like doing things that are unfamiliar to me. It took me a lot to even go in for that consultation yesterday. Literally my friend had to call and book it for me and then we like went in together because I just like didn't want to do it. I want to do it, I just don't want to like take the actions required to do it. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I'm scared it's gonna hurt. I shaved and she was telling me yesterday that like if you miss any hairs then when the laser goes over the area with the hair it can be like really sharp and like a burning sensation so I tried to shave like super well because I'm really scared that it's gonna hurt I'm like really afraid that it's gonna be painful so oh, I'm super nervous I've just been like very nervous all day work has been a little bit stressful there's just like so much going on with work this week and there's a lot of like coordinating and communicating and stuff happening and I'm learning and like making a few mistakes just trying to like work through everything but yeah let's go do this and I'll update you guys afterwards <sighs> okay you guys I'm done I feel so nauseous because I was so nervous today I didn't eat four o'clock and I haven't eaten and uh now that it's over I'm so hungry and I feel nauseous <laughs> Okay, I feel like I had like a pretty good reason to be nervous. It had a couple points where I literally was like, I like kind of like did a little scream and like jumped and like convulsed. But I think that only happened twice. The rest of the time it just feels really hot. Like it kind of feels like it's burning your skin. <laughs> Lady who did it, she set pretty good expectations for me yesterday. She said the people who make the laser claim that it's pain free, but she says that it's pain less, meaning that it's less pain than like more old school machines, but yeah, there was definitely a couple points where I was like, oh, like, ah, oh, and I sweat so much. The little paper on the chair underneath me was like ripped up and like soaking wet with sweat. So yeah, I feel like I was pretty justified in being nervous, but it's over and done with now. Six more sessions to go. Hopefully I have results. She told me yesterday too, the average person has like a 55 to 65% success rate. They lose like 55 to 65% of their hair. But she said some people lose 100% and some people lose 0%. So you never know where you're gonna be 
in the timeline and like on the scale and stuff so yeah we'll just have to see how it goes I will continue to update you guys on vlogs as we go throughout the next year but you go back every six to eight weeks because they want the hair to be growing in different cycles so that they're hitting it at different points of the growth cycle it's all very technical and sciencey super quick I was in and out in like 15 minutes so yeah a little laser hair update for you guys a little experience for you i'm gonna head home and stuff my face full of dumplings and i'll catch up with you later you guys it is 7 13 on friday morning I am sitting in the Starbucks parking lot. I just ordered myself some breakfast and a coffee, my first coffee of the week, okay? I'm up early to actually go over to Will's dad's place. He needed someone to let in an air conditioning guy and Will is actually leaving today to go to a bachelor party. I'm actually really excited for him. I feel like they're gonna have so much fun. They're driving to a cottage in Quebec they're spending the weekend there they're gonna do one night in montreal so they have a party bus booked and they're gonna go into the city and go for dinner and go to a bar and stuff i'm just i don't know i'm really excited for him i feel like he's gonna have so much fun and i go away with my girlfriends like a few times a year and i just i feel like will and his friends don't like really plan as much stuff by themselves so the fact that they like planned everything and they're going away together i'm just like i don't know i'm really happy for them <laughs> will's dad's place there's a gym and it's like a nice big beautiful house so i brought my computer and stuff i'm gonna do some work get a workout in but first coffee <laughs> i got a grande iced coffee half sweet and a spread of green bagel with avocado spread Okay, so it's 10.40 in the morning now. I've just been sitting here doing some work for the last like almost three hours now. The AC guy just came and left. I'm gonna go and do a workout. They have a little at-home gym here. I haven't worked out all week. I just had kind of a little bit of an off week. It was a little bit stressful and with the laser hair removal, I couldn't work out for 24 hours after I got it done. I didn't get a workout in this week, so I'm really excited to work out today. I feel like mind, body, and soul just really needs it. I'm gonna do upper body, so let's go. Free weights that they have here are eight pounds, which is pretty heavy for my little my little delts. <laughs> And I'm done. That was only 30 minutes. My shoulders are shaking from holding the camera. Supersets are like it for sweaty, hard, and quick workouts. I'm going to go around, make sure all the doors and everything are locked, and then I'm gonna head home. And then I need to go and get my nails done. I was actually quite happy with this set. It lasted me a really long time. It's not even a set, it's shellac. And I think I've had it on here for almost three weeks or more than three weeks. It's crazy, it's lasted me for so long, so I'm gonna go back to the same place. These two came off this week, but like besides that, everything else, like, I don't know, I just was super happy with it, so. Yeah, let's go have a nail transformation, shall we? Here is the new set of nails. There we go. It wasn't too busy in there when I first got there, but then as I was sitting there, more and more people were coming in for their appointments. And then she started rushing. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on this one. Try and cover my face. I don't think you can see, but this one is like bubbling on the corner. I have a feeling it's gonna come off. Just didn't um, cure properly, I don't think, or it like, I don't know. It's just kind of bubbling on the corner. So I might have to go back. I am happy with the color. I wanted to get something closer to the color of my shirt, but they didn't have anything like this. It was either like in this, shade it was more pink or more like cool toned 
and I couldn't decide which one to go with, so I went with something completely different. <laughs> so yeah, that's the new nails. I have a wedding tomorrow morning in Grafton, so it's like an hour and a half drive from Toronto. And then tomorrow night, because the boys are away, the girls are gonna get together and play. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Courtney's tomorrow after the wedding. Yeah, we might go out, maybe hit a patio, maybe stay in her backyard. <laughs> we'll see how we feel. I'm gonna film a new vlog tomorrow though, so I am gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's gonna help more people to see it too. You can subscribe to my channel if you're new and you wanna see more and I will see you in my next video. Bye you guys.